Hello, I'm David Roger, General Counsel for Las Vegas Police Protective Association. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about the responding code three to start protocol matters. And really, I want to start off by talking about uh, uh, policy number 5-109.09, which is a start protocol policy. And, and it starts off quoting uh, PERF, which is the Police Executive Research Forum, kind of a think tank for uh, police executives, sheriffs, and chiefs. And it starts off with this quote. For police, the role of the first line supervisor is critically important. The sooner supervisors arrive at the scene, the more likely they can contain it, slow it down, and avoid the temptation to feel that immediate action is always required. And the idea behind STAR protocol is that you should have a supervisor on the scene that can evaluate the situation, put together a strategic plan, slow the momentum, get additional resources, call in the air unit, and uh, hopefully resolve the matter in a, a peaceful way. Uh, but recently, uh, officers have uh, complained uh, that supervisors are uh, assigned to a STAR, STAR protocol incident and they're not responding code, code three. Uh, officers, on the other hand, uh, are responding code three, and in some cases, uh, officers have said that they have passed their, their supervisors. And uh, we, we've heard a number of reasons why supervisors are not rolling code to such matters. You know, some have said that uh, they can't roll code and access their MDT, look at CAD and uh, get all the other resources necessary. Uh, some have said that they have been taught in sergeant school uh, not to roll code uh, to these types of uh, incidents. Um, and of course there are some cynical officers uh, who believe that you know the supervisors aren't rolling code because they don't want to be the first ones there or the second ones there. Now, I, there's no data to, to support that, but uh, certainly it, it's a reasonable concern of some officers. And so as uh, an officer is a, who is a non-supervisor, a patrol officer responding to these STAR protocols, uh, you have to consider wh whether you want to roll code yourself. You know, 6-102.00, uh, which deals with code 3 driving, says that an officer may respond uh, code three in certain circumstances. Uh, policy never requires you to roll code. A and uh, if uh, you roll code and you are the first at uh, the incident and you have to take a deadly force, uh, one of the questions CERT will ask you is what type of pre-planning uh, did you do with uh, other officers? Did you consider low lethal options? Did you call in the air unit and uh, other resources? Did you call for canine? So all of these are questions that CERT will ask you. And so, you know, we, we want you to be careful. We want you to obviously follow policy and, and, and do your job. But these are, are things that I, I think are uh, valid considerations for you to discuss uh, during briefing and to consider when you're responding to these calls. As always, if you have any questions, contact me at droger at lvppa.com. Uh, check out my mobile-friendly website that has all the videos um, on it, davidroger.us. And, of course, send me questions anytime you have them. Thank you very much. Thank you for what you do to protect our community and stay safe.